So uh, welcome to today's bike ride. Today, I'm gonna head on my longest bike ride to date. I'm aiming for something like 40, 50 miles, which is more than I normally do. Normally I do around 25, 30 miles, but really 40, 50 is something that I really couldn't be expected to do three or four months ago. Three or four months ago, I couldn't even walk to the end of the road. I was so uh, knackered. God knows what was wrong with me, but I um, couldn't do anything. So I've come a long way in the last three or four months, and it's all really down to cycling and changing my diet and uh, just being more positive, I think. So yeah, let's head off. I've got a plan. I'm going to head towards Bishopsbourne. I've got a new route plan that I've done on uh, uh, Google Maps. So uh, let's get to it. Let's try and do 50 miles. Yeah, so cycling 50 miles would have been a dream about four months ago. As I said I was basically bedridden. I don't know what it was. I was having really bad heart palpitations. Couldn't walk to the end of the road. But that one was collapsing. Doctor couldn't really come up with anything. Had all the tests. I still believe it was something related to COVID or long COVID. Looking at the symptoms online for long COVID, it looks very similar to what other people have experienced. But I think I'm coming out of it now. It's taken uh, seven months, really. Maybe more. Maybe eight months to get some sort of improvement. So, uh, fingers crossed. Let's hope this is it. And I'm back to normal. Take a new route today. Heading to Charlton Park in Kingston. Never been down here before. Looks good on the map though. Shortcut through to Kingston. And Marley. More cyclists. Right. This is Elam Valley. Beautiful this time of year. Probably about 12 miles in now. So I'm making good progress. Let's hope we can do 50 miles. I think I should be on track to finish a good uh, 50 miles in about two and a half hours at this rate. Fingers crossed. Let's keep going. Check this out. Price to pay for that hill I just came down. Let's go for it. That's a view down to Folkestone. There's the terminal there, Folkestone Terminal. You can just see the sea in the distance. So, I'm definitely 20 miles in. So, it's going to be at least 40 miles. I'm 20 miles from home. So, uh, it's going to be a good 40 mile bike ride. This is definitely my record. Let's go up some massive steep hills as well to get out of Folkestone from the coast. That wasn't easy. I thought I was going to have to get off for a minute, but no. Kept going. The road's really quiet around here. Haven't seen anything for a while. It's beautiful, really. A bit slower progress than I was making on the valley floor there, coming along the B roads. I probably did uh, 15 miles in less than an hour. And climbing out from the coast would take me ages. But I'll do it. I really think I'm going to get 50 miles today. If, I, if I'm close, I'll just cycle around Canterbury a few times. So, let's keep plodding on. Here's a famous pub. The Jack Door. If you watch the film The Battle of Britain, this is a pub that Dickie Attenborough goes into for a pint on his way down to Dover. Or is it the film Dunkirk? I can't remember. Maybe it's the same film. Yeah, The Jack Door.
it looks like I've done 40 miles which okay I know it's not massive but for me it's a major breakthrough considering where I was three or four months ago and where I was eight months ago not able to walk to the end of the road without collapsing for me this is a major milestone if I can do 40 I can do 50 if I can do 50 I can do 100 so thanks for all those that have subscribed to my channel I really appreciate that send in any comments I'll answer whenever I can so cheers See you in the next one.